Okay, so this is week one of a rental car league at uh, Victory Raceway in St. Louis. Um, after a qualifying run, a 12 lap qualifying run, we ended up in seventh place. There's about 17 racers, and so we're split into two groups, a group of eight and a group of seven. Um, and basically we're in seventh place right now out of eight which is not too bad and we off the start have a decent start but kind of lose some time on the first turn and then gain it back quickly but we're just trying to stay with the pack at this point this is my first ever league and so seeing how people drive was kind of new to me um because i've raced here a lot before but never against people that are actually like more of a higher skill level so we messed up a bit on that uh teardrop corner but we're bringing it back on the straight, and our ma main goal right here is basically just to keep time. I mean, we had a 29 second, which is kind of slow, and I almost crashed into the guy right there in front of me, but I'm trying to defend on the person to my right by uh, just cutting in the corner a bit hard and just not letting him pass. Um, successfully, it worked, and now I'm just trying to catch back up to cart number 9 in front of me uh, until I can make some sort of move um to actually overtake but for now i'm playing a catch-up game and it's just some clean open laps So, so at this point we finally caught up to the, the group ahead of me, um, gaining on them on that first corner. I'm right next to them, but I can't really go for the pass. The rule is here that you have to have 50% of your cart pass theirs, um, so I couldn't go for it. But you can see that the two people in front of me, they're fighting each other, so I'm kind of just letting them do their thing. And then they end up pushing each other wide, and so I try and take over on that first uh, possible chance. Um, I, mean, I end up going side by side with this guy and he has the better spot for that turn and so he gets it but i slide in right on the inside and hold this and end up gaining the position the person in front of me ends up messing a bit on that corner and i can see that the person that i just overtook is slowly creeping up but i try and kind of close him off on those back uh teardrop corners which does work and so now uh the position is basically guaranteed because I do have a way faster, I had a good cart, plus my times for the day were just way quicker, and I'm getting on to this number two guy, uh, he messes up on that corner, doesn't break enough, so he goes really far wide, we're side by side, and he almost pins me in through that corner, but I kind of take the position right here by forcing him to go wide in on that teardrop, same way he did to that other person, and then I just sweep in right through the inside and straight into that position. So now we're in, moving from 7th into 5th place, and now I'm just trying to catch up to the guy in front of me, and you can see I'm giving a thumbs up to one of the workers I know, uh, telling him things are going good. So at this point, I've been able to finally catch up to the guy in front of me, and I'm just right on his tail, basically for the rest of the race at this point, and I go for an overtake right here, not possible, um, but I'm kind of playing easy because I don't want to risk a possible like spin out, you see I hit the wall there twice, I did not take that corner well, lost a lot of time, 
but if I didn't hit that, I might have had a chance for uh, overtake later on in the race, but um, basically at this point, I'm just trying to hold my position because moving up two positions was not bad, especially on this uh, track. It's really, really tight and not a lot of, a lot of overtaking chances, so um, I'm swinging wide and trying to catch up on this corner. Uh, managed to do so, and so now I'm just right on his tail, and I keep on holding for as long as possible. Seeing if a small gap opens up, and I see it right there, but he closes it off, and so I back off. He's looking back at me. I'm losing him, but gaining him back, so it's, it's a fight, which is right here between us. It's pretty close, and then um, you can see a bite flag, so last lap, and then we're going to be uh, ending this race in a P5 finish, which is not bad, especially for a P7 start uh, with no practice beforehand. So, not too bad, but this is the last lap right here, and you can see I'm trying to go in for the final overtake. I don't seem to get it, because he closes it off really, really well, and then finally on the back straight, um, right behind him once again. He defended really well, so, but it was a good race. I was right by, I was real close to you. Hey, good racing, man. Yeah, you, it was all I could do to keep you back there. I had, a, I had like one chance, but I, I actually uh, like slammed on the brakes just a little bit too hard. I thought I heard you hit a barrier, I, like in the, here somewhere, yeah, a little bit, right? I, I slammed on the brakes a bit too hard and I ended up hitting the barrier. Yeah, I heard the hit and I'm like, okay, that'll, 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 buy, me, that'll buy me one lap. <laughs> Dang, that's my new fastest. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to race two here, we're starting in P5, where we ended last, uh, session there was no qualifying in between but it lights out and we are off and i gain up quick right onto the back of this guy and i know he's going to be fighting he's really good at defending um so i'm just trying to maintain with the pack i'm hoping that he does not lose a lot of time because then i'll be losing from the the three guys in the lead i know one of them and he's really really quick i think right now he's in third place you can see him up ahead but um, he ends up actually winning this race, um, so, but 28.9 for the first lap, which is not too bad. We're just all trying to stay in position. Guy in first is making a big breakaway from the guy in second and third, and so you can see we're kind of forming into our groups, the, the back pack and the front pack splitting into two, and so then we're just maintaining position for most of the race right here. So I'm still gaining on this guy, he kind of spins a bit, I end up tapping him in the back, I lose a lot of time from that, so does he, which kind of sucks because um, I'm setting good lap times, 27s, I'm going for an overtake right here, I get side by side, get kind of bumped up in there in the middle, and I pull some more moves last time by making him go outside, but he defends it pretty well, and so right here I finally am able to get on the inside straight. He races clean, doesn't push me into the ball, which is really nice, and then I just slam on the brakes a bit hard and close off the gap, and now I'm just playing a game of catch up, trying to get to the people ahead of me.
No way. Is that where you started? Hey, you did a fucking 27 0. I heard. I still got fourth. Yeah, I know, but that, you're. I was right on that. That was fucking quick. Thanks. I, no, I no, that, I, I applaud you for that. I really do. Yeah. I, <laughs> So, not too bad of a day. We started decently in qualifying with a P7, went to P5 in the first race. Um, we averaged 28.234, which is not awful. Um, had a good lucky overtake, which just happened to be um, a perfectly set for me to go through and take it two positions up. And um, not too bad of an average speed, especially for my first uh, league race with people of a similar skill set. And then moving into race two, we set an average of 27.897. Um, we went from fifth place to fourth place, which is not bad as well. Um, so for the league, good points in my opinion. Um, but we set a 27.0, which is near the um, track record. The track record's about, I think, 26.9, like five or something like that. So we are decently close. Um, but that lap was really good in the second race and definitely next week should be better if I can set a qualifying just like in the second just like a, a lap in the second race because then I might be able to actually maintain position up there in the top two and possibly get a win so yeah but uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next week